and in business, the Securities and Exchange Commission on Sunday said Nigeria's infrastructure deficit would hit $878 billion by 2040. In order to bridge the infrastructure gap, SEC has called for, all, for active utilization of green bond. SEC Acting Director General Mary Uduk, who was represented by Head Registration and Market Infrastructure Department, Mr. Imomo Timi Agama, said it was necessary for Nigeria to stand at the forefront front of innovations and initiatives. She said this at the 2018 annual workshop organized by the Capital Markets Correspondents Association of Nigeria in Lagos. According to her, the future holds opportunities for renewable energy, energy def efficiency, infrastructure, food and agriculture. She also said the task ahead is to ensure funds are channeled to green projects with multiple social merits. And in the oil sector, Brent crude oil prices rose on Monday after OPEC and non-OPEC producers last Friday agreed to cut supply by 1.2 million barrels per day, effective January. International Brent crude oil futures were up $61.96 per barrel, up 29 cents from its last close. According to the agreement, 800,000 barrels per day cut would come from OPEC members and 400,000 barrels per day Cuts would also come from countries not affiliated with the group. United States West Texas Intermediate Crude fu Futures plummeted by 11 cents from their last settlement to $52.50 per barrel. The decline in West Texas Intermediate Crude comes as U.S. output, as U.S. increased its output. The decline in West Texas Intermediate Crude comes as U.S. American oil industries increased their output and are not taking part in the announced cuts. And that's all on business news on this hour. Still ahead on Plus TV Africa is our roundup on entertainment and sports. We'll be back in a moment.